Hey, uh, hello everybody. Uh, happy May 13th. Uh, maybe we should have done this lesson on May 4th, but uh, I'll show you why in just a minute. Uh, but I uh, hope today's finding you well and hope you're ready to do some uh, some cross-sectioning as it's called. I've got myself a letter open here, letter opener. Uh, and here's why. Let me uh, get myself out of the way, get this letter opener out of the way. In describing and talking about cross-sections today, Imagine, if you will, um, what, you're a fencing uh, contestant, you know, fencing, fighting, or, or maybe you're playing Fruit Ninja. Uh, maybe you're a Jedi Knight. You know, this is like a lightsaber, right? You're basically taking something and slicing, making a section through some items. Here on page 459, it's talking about making a slice through a ring of paper. Uh, on some of the other pages, that's where we got. We got uh, slices through pyramids, uh, slices a loaf of bread through a truck. Why would you slice a truck? What is going on there? What other items? We don't, I don't see a sphere on here in a cross section of a sphere. Um, but the, the point of today is understanding what would happen if you take this object, a 3D object, and then you make a straight slice through it. What would happen? What, what would the cross section look like? And that's really the activity for today. So I'm just going to say for today, 8-7, look through these pages, look at the questions, compare what you're thinking with the answer key, and see if you understand what cross-sectioning means. Um, if I can find another example here before we uh, move on. Loaf of bread still, all of these rectangles. Really, I'm just seeing rectangles and triangles. So if it feels a little boring, we'll try to make tomorrow's activity a little more exciting. But uh, in doing this cross-sectioning, as they're teaching the main concept here on page 462, you can see they've got a rectangular item. They just do a slice right through it. They, uh, they've sliced it here with what's called a plane. You need you to understand what a plane is. Just think of a piece of paper. It's just a flat surface. This is, this is a plane in math. Here's another. This green part is the plane. Do they always make it green? Yeah. The green part is the plane. They take a plane, and with that plane, they make a cross-section, like a karate chopping through. And what's the shape that occurs? Well, in a rectangular prism, it's called. Why don't you know what a prism is? It's a 3D figure. Here's a rectangular prism. Here's a pyramid prism that has a square base. Some pyramid prisms will have a triangular base. How does that look? How's that for a triangular prism and there's or a triangular pyramid a square pyramid but a prism is simply a 3d figure and then cross section means that you're slicing through it straight down you take a cross section out right there you'd get this item right here what if i took a cross section over here closer to the end what would that look like when i came over here what do you know what shape that is are you able to see that that shape is a trapezoid if I were to move this over, we'll do more of that tomorrow. Don't, don't worry too much about that. Take today, look through these questions. Um, check what you think the answer is with the answer key below this video. And that's the activity for today, is understanding being a fruit ninja warrior or, uh, or being a Jedi Knight or being a swordsman or having a kitchen knife and, or a letter opener and doing a cross section with a plane through a prism. And what do you get? Have fun with today's assignment. There's, uh, there's not going to be anything to turn in, but just make sure you understand what this is for tomorrow's activity. Excellent. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. May the 4th, Drad, it's not the 4th, be with you. Bye-bye.